The Mandalorian and Grogu are heading to the big screen. As Lucasfilm announced that the first Star Wars movie to go into theaters since 2019's Rise of Skywalker will be the Mando movie directed by Jon Favreau. Now this means that the extension of the sequel trilogy in the Rey movie that will be directed by Charmin Obed Chinoy is no longer the first movie to hit the big screen since the sequels. Now not only is that good news because the fandom is completely divided on the sequel trilogy, but it's also great news because this means we could be getting a Mandoverse trilogy. Thank you! All the way back in April of 2023 at Star Wars Celebration in London, Lucasfilm announced three new movies, the aforementioned Rey movie, a Mandoverse movie that will be the culmination of all of these Disney Plus shows in the Mandoverse time period, from The Mandalorian to The Book of Boba Fett to Ahsoka to Skeleton Crew, and that film will be directed by Dave Filoni. All three of these movies were announced at the time as standalone films, meaning they were not the beginning of new trilogies. However, back when these movies were first announced, I speculated that every single one of them would be the beginning of a new New trilogy. Three trilogies all being released at the same time and all taking place in different time periods on the Star Wars timeline. And now that theory is beginning to become a reality. As this Mandalorian and Grogu movie shook the world, I was way more excited to hear whether or not this would be the beginning of a new trilogy. And many very reliable scoopers and insiders who have been saying for the last six months that this Mandalorian movie was happening are now saying that these two movies, Dave Filoni's and Jon Favreau's, will not just be standalone films, there will be a third movie to complete the trilogy. And this Mandoverse trilogy will take place in between the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy. And not only is this a great idea because the characters from The Mandalorian are fan favorite characters on Disney+, Plus, but it also gives a new trilogy to the fans who disliked or even hated the sequel trilogy. This gives these fans something to look forward to over the next six years and something to call a new sequel trilogy. However, that leaves us with two major questions. What the f is this trilogy going to be about? And two, what are we going to call this trilogy? So what will this trilogy be about? Well, obviously, at the end of Ahsoka, Thrawn comes in as the new heir to the Empire. And that's about all we know. Will Mando characters like Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, the Armorer, Cobb, Vanth be involved? Will Ahsoka characters like Harrison Dula, Ezra Bridger, Mon Mothma be involved? Of course, we know that Ahsoka and Sabine and Huge Wang, I mean, Hu Yang, are stranded on Peridia, so they probably won't be all that involved. And the biggest of them all, will Luke, Leia, and Han be involved? The main trio of the Legends trilogy, Heir to the Empire. Will these characters be deepfaked or recast and involved in this Mandoverse trilogy? Another big question is, will Thrawn take over Coruscant? The New Republic is very weak. Ahsoka really established that really well. But in The Force Awakens, when the First Order uses Starkiller Base to destroy the capital of the New Republic, they don't destroy Coruscant. They destroy the Hosnian Prime system. So at some point in the 20 years between The Mandalorian and the sequel trilogy, the capital of the New Republic changes. But why? The capital of the reigning empire or republic around the galaxy has been Coruscant for tens of thousands of years. Why would that change? Well, maybe, just maybe, Thrawn comes in and takes over Coruscant something that only Palpatine could do, establishing himself as an incredible villain, and also explaining the sequel trilogy. And then there's always the question of who will die. And with the Mandoverse trilogy, there's a ton of characters that we don't see in the sequels, and their destiny is kind of up in the air. Will Boba Fett die? Will Din Djarin die? Will Bo-Katan die? Will Ahsoka die? Other than the original trio of Luke, Leia, and Han, all these characters' lives are up for grabs. And if you have Thrawn take over the capital of the galaxy in Coruscant and kill off a main hero like Din Djarin or Boba Fett or Ahsoka, the big blue meanie would become quite a good villain really quickly. Also, this possible trilogy could give us a lot of backstory to the sequels. It could give us the rise of the First Order and Snoke after Thrawn ultimately dies. And probably the biggest thing of them all, it could give us Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple and Ben Solo as a young kid. There is so much that could happen in a possible Mandoverse trilogy, and it seems like a no-brainer to add on one more movie to this Mando and Grogu movie and Dave Filoni's aforementioned Mandoverse crossover film to just make it a full trilogy. It will give fans something to look forward to for the next six years, and we will go into the Mando and Grogu movie already hyped up 
for the remaining two movies years later. But that leads us to our other problem. What will they call this trilogy? The sequel trilogy is already taken, and along with that, episodes 7, 8, and 9 are taken as well. So what are they going to call these movies? Episodes 6.25, episodes 6.5, and episodes 6.75? Or will they change the sequel trilogy to episode 10, 11, 12, and give this Mandoverse trilogy episodes 7, 8, and 9. Rewriting the history of Star Wars, this wouldn't be the first time that we've ever seen this. Or do you think they'll call this trilogy something else? Tell me in the comments section below, do you want a Mandoverse trilogy or not? Do you like to have fun or do you like to have no fun? Do you like good things or do you like things to be bad? Are you a joy lover or do you like to shit on people's souls? I think it's a pretty honest question. Do you want this Mandoverse trilogy or not? Tell me in the comment section below. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We go live on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So don't miss out on any of that by hitting that subscribe. And if you want more, go check out this video I just did about the massive announcement last Tuesday about the Mando movie and Ahsoka Season 2.